so this is a master class on cursor and full stack development so i have been working at google for a long time i've built a lot of products uh worked with startups xyz it is the fastest time you know or rather i would say it is the easiest to build products in 2024 with these ai tools majorly i think you should uh, keep a check on claude gemini and cursor i think these are three amazing tools uh, gemini is amazing at doing uh, you know code analysis uh, reading summarizing all that stuff claude 3.5 sonnet is amazing at uh, generation uh, code generation and we will be making a full stack application which is a gallery so you know you don't see any images here but we can quickly change those and you know uh, fix fix those uh, pretty quickly so let's actually fix one in real time so let's copy uh, copy 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 image can we copy image or no okay let's rubik's cube and let's use an image and see if we can uh change our database and let's see this is the file based database that we're using so we are changing it here and we are going to uh refresh okay we don't see anything oh we change the description uh we should be changing the image and i think if we are able to change the image i don't know if we copied the correct thing but let's say we have something here copy image address and we go here we paste this and let's refresh we should be seeing an image here so everything is if this has a database we're listening from a database we can submit to a database we also have a form uh, if you go to slash submit, you will see a form where you can submit A, B, C, D, image URL. You can paste the same thing. You can add a category, blah, blah, blah. And then if you submit, you know, let's say the category is technology. Okay, this is finance, whatever it is. This says project submitted successfully. We can go back to plot list and we will see there's another one new title ADSD ADSF which we just added technology and finance this also populates the all categories automatically this also populates all the tags automatically so this is an amazing directory application that you are building you you'll be learning how to build use this for free tools SEO tools AI tools finance tools finance calculators this is the best freaking thing for your traffic free traffic and you can upsell through this banner on the right side. So this is amazing for business people, startup people, SEO, marketing, whatever you are doing. And for developers also, because you are learning Firebase application. I made this in 30 minutes and you can too. I literally made this in the, you know, I was just sitting and making this in the last, for the last 30 minutes. Quickly, quick introduction of Firebase is that Firebase is a serverless infrastructure where you can create things uh, where you don't have to write code from scratch. Uh, very very easy to initialize your projects for databases authentication analytics hosting uh, uh plenty of things so yeah go to firebase check out their features and you you're probably gonna be overwhelmed with all the things that they have but yeah go ahead create a project once you create a project you can go to firestore you can click on create a new database you will see that you get something like this you can start a collection name the collection carefully because this is something that you will be calling from the code so you can say users let's say you have a users tab so you can say users you can auto id for the document let me zoom in for this for field you can say okay name of the user you can say age of the user and add a number you can say okay email of the user and then you, you can leave it as a string or maybe uh maybe let's say you say is subscribed so you say use a boolean here and true or false right so this is uh something that you can uh, add so you will have a collection here so collection is basically you know a, a database collection is something that you are storing so you can have different collections in it i don't know the exact definition that's why i'm getting confused but a database can have multiple collections that's uh, you know what you can keep in your mind every collection has multiple documents documents is basically an end document is an entry in that particular collection and there's simple firebase code to just query this database and the and then query the collection and then find the different documents and then filter based on different things 
which we are going to look at Firebase. But for starting, what you can do, I'll show you a V0 uh, template that I used to create this gallery app. So what I did is I literally used this prompt. Look at on the right, give me a gallery app where we can see a list of apps built with crawl, give a search bar, filter, blah, blah, blah. And I am going to be writing this in a doc in order to give you uh, this complete guide, full stack app with AI gallery uh, directory application, right? So first we did the Firebase stuff. Then we want to write this prompt uh, and this prompt will give you a simple, I will, let me just link all the things that we have so that we don't forget. And we have this talk ready for you to look at your convenience. So here we have the prompt. And once you have this prompt, you will see that we have a beautiful, beautiful gallery over here. And then, you know, it will show you an amazing gallery. Look at this. It literally creates a gallery for you. Can you imagine searching, sorting, filtering? Every little thing is already implemented in what you are seeing, right? So you already have this ready to go. You have the categories, you have the tags, you have whatever, all, you know, all tags. And then you can search. Everything is freaking working from ground zero. So V0 is amazing. Go check it out. For the code, let me give you a brief intro in, you know, brief uh, explanation of the code. So we have some dummy data right now. We will uh, get this data from Firebase, uh, but currently there's dummy data. For the categories, what we do is we map the apps and then we find the category. For all tags, we map the apps and we get tags. So we don't have specific tags. We are just mapping all the apps that we have or basically all the items that we have and we are finding categories and tags from, from those apps. So very important to, to note that these will change as you add new data, which is amazing, right? We want this to be dynamic. Then what we have, we have some few forms where we can select the categories. Filtering is happening by simple functions. Uh, like you can use includes, you can use filter, you can use reduce, you can use all the, all bunch of things, right? So you can uh, even go to chat GPT and say, okay, you know, uh, improve this code or improve and explain this code. You know, maybe you don't understand it. So why not go ahead, go to chat GPT, ask for an explanation and you will get the answer. So you, it's very, very important. See how it simplifies, simplifies this whole thing. Okay. Tag matches. And then we return a Boolean of all these things of the filtered applications. So this is how it's working in real time. So again, very, very easy code to understand, but we have the basic infrastructure of this. After this, what we will be doing is we will create a simple uh, collection of apps and you can add some dummy data. So if you have data, then, you know, good to go. Just add some data here. If you do not have data, then what you can do is you can actually add dummy data through a script. So let me go over to cursor, give a complete introduction to cursor and how you can use it. And it's amazing. I think you're going to love it. So yeah, let's look at cursor and how you can add dummy data and then finally fetch.